What's going on, my friends? Cubs fan Han here for another Star Wars Galaxy of Heroes amazing video. There's nothing going on, CG. Announce something. I'm really desperately hoping today that we're going to have something announced. The dev Q&A talked about all of this stuff, about all these plans they've got. Um, you know, they want to produce more content, and I just, just bring it to me. Please, bring it to me. <laughs> anyway, today we do have something pretty cool to share, though. Um, first Order is proving to actually be somewhat usable against Sith Empire already. And I think now, something I want to... I want to disclaim this because, look, I, I don't think this is insanely notable, and I'll, I'll tell you why um, after I did a little testing on my own. But I think it's worth talking about because I think it's a shadow of what may be the next meta. Um, just missing one character. And of course, if you look at our first order right now, it's starting to get, you know, we're starting to have a pretty beefy faction. We used to just have a few characters there. Now we got the addition of Hux and uh, Sith Trooper. Um, the, the red Sith Trooper, it's, it's still, I still think of uh, Old Republic Sith Trooper or Sith Empire Trooper rather. Um, but uh, Kylo Ren on mass still working very well, but I, I just feel like once we get uh, Kylo Ren from, uh, you know, whatever the new Kylo Ren is going to be right here, that it will be, uh, it'll be game, set, and match. And interesting to see, it'll be interesting to see where the resistance fits in on that. But right now, I think between resistance and first order, I don't think there's any resistance team that's going to find a way to be at all usable against Sith Empire. Um, first order can be, there are some, um, asterisks that I want to add to that. However, so of course, what I am referring to, this video has been making its rounds. We have got this video right here. This is from my man, Dark Omega. And I'm just going to share a little bit of this video. You can see here, he shows his mod stats here. I'd encourage you guys to watch this full video. I was actually really impressed with the quality uh, for a channel with 473 subscribers. Um, he deserves well over a thousand guys, so I think we should head over there and give him some love. Uh, but uh, re really good quality introducing this subject. Kind of funny, I'm not playing the audio, but it's got this... Uh, clip of Hux yelling, the first order will rise, or whatever he says. Um, but he gives the mod breakdown here. Now, what I want to highlight here before I show you this footage, so you guys know um, not to necessarily rush for this to use to beat first, uh, you know, Sith Empire in Territory Wars. Um, look at the relics. The team he's facing here, and I believe he faces the same team the whole time, is all Relic 4. Um, on my test account, I did test this out against higher relics, and, uh, yeah, I got lit up a little bit, and, and I, I did match the mods almost exactly, uh, for his account and for the, uh, the Sith Empire team. Uh, my account was actually a little better, and the Sith Empire team was a little bit, a little bit slower, um, but, uh, but they had the relics, and Sith Marauder in particular, uh, really just kind of lit things up. So, if you're going against the top, tippity top, of, uh, Sith Empire teams... This may not be wise. I think this is probably going to be more usable against the lower tier. Um, you'll also want to note uh, where his relics were, I believe he was. Let's actually go back on the video just a little bit. Um, he had a Relic 7 crew, Relic 7 Sith uh, Trooper, and a Relic 7 Fox. Now, I will, I, I will for, for transparency, my Fox over here... I, I'm sorry, I'm, I'm stopping this footage again. I'm going over to my gameplay. Uh, but if you look at my Fox, uh, my Fox is only Relic two and so that could be a big difference maker I, I i think that what's more important here is the big gap between all of the relic fours and all the relic sevens because in my testing again i was going up against almost full relic seven especially relic seven darth revan relic seven uh basil i've got sith trooper in there i want to see if it was different there but with relic seven marauder especially uh but that said Still notable. So I, I don't want to rain on this video because I I still think this is super cool. So you see here, he gets Sith Marauder out right away, and he gets a Basil out right away. He does that by he wants his um his first order officer to be fast enough so that he can go first, give a turn to uh Fox, and then he attacks Marauder and then he calls the mass assist over there on Basti. And right here, he was able to get Malik low. That's something I had a really hard time doing. And it's a pretty ideal scenario there. 
Um, which we'll, we'll do. I'll do a battle here and show you guys how it's been going for me. Uh, but uh, and I'll I, I'll I will tell you the mods. Are, I actually won't break down the mods and bore you guys. But speed wise, I was right there. Offense wise, I was right there. I even got my Sith. Uh, um, or sorry, uh, first order executioner almost to the level that uh, his was at at Relic Seven with a Relic Two because it's test account mods and you know. We got lots of mods on the test accounts uh, that are just kind of god tier. So, all right. So, he goes there. He goes for uh, for HK. He's able to have a pretty solid win rate against this team. I, I do wish I could have tested it against lower relics to see if I was able to get it to work. Um, I just had the high relic options, though. All right. Ooh, and he didn't use the bomb. Interesting choice there. Interesting choice to not use the AoE. Um, probably because he wanted to wait for someone to die, actually. That kind of makes a lot more sense now that I think about it. Okay, he's just going to turn to Fox. 93,000 damage. 97 and the assist. Boom, boom. See you later. Look, and again, while I'm saying, um, I did not find this, uh, to be working, uh, using his attack strategy, his mods, and going up against higher relic teams. Um, however, one thing I will say is that this is still very cool and probably a shadow of what's coming uh this is working you see the synergy here but if there's one character more you know like the new kylo ren what is he gonna add to the squad and i think especially what you got going on here with hux and sith trooper it just makes me really excited for what is to come you can see here this battle's a lot more dicey he gets that cleanse right there hux goes down here comes the aoe boom Oh my gosh, Malik is almost out. And then I'll let you guys see the rest of the videos. He gives a little bit of a, um, some more descriptions at the end there. I would definitely recommend heading over there to check that out. Give him the view. He deserves it. He's the one who put in the work on this theory craft and, you know, used, he didn't use a test account. He used his own account. I think that's awesome. Um, so anyway, let's look at this, uh, in practice. So again, I'll actually just show you guys briefly my mods here. Um, my Kylo Ren on mass, I did full defense like he suggests. I'm a little bit slower than his Kylo Ren on mass. A little, I don't have quite as much health as him. So that, that could also make a difference. I couldn't find the health on the test account. So he had better mods than my test account for health. Uh, my Sith Trooper, um, was pretty much in line with him. Uh, we got him up to, I, I got more offense on him, I think. Uh, if you look at the beginning of his video, um, he had, we'll actually, uh, shoot right back over there. He had uh, 85, I think that says. And then if you look at mine, 92. So I, I'm, I've got more offense than he had on Sith Trooper. Um, and then we've got uh, Hux here. Hux is sitting uh, 296 speed. His was at 283. And then uh, First Order Officer was the really important one. You want to make sure he was fast enough. Uh, we got 314 speed on him. His was 313. So we got pretty much right there. And then Fox, again, this was the difference maker, not Relic 7 like his was. I did get that offense uh, to 7,300. His was at 70, 7,500. So I got within 200 of his without the Relic 7. So I don't think that's why I'm losing. I think it more has to do with the enemy team's relics. So let's try this out. We'll try against... The uh, Sith, I, I, I don't have, I'm not able to put the Sith Marauder in right now, but we'll try it with the Sith Trooper there. It functions pretty similar because you hit Sith Marauder at the beginning anyway. I could do that, clear that, and then come over here, select Bastila, call the Mass Assist. Okay, second attack. Okay, pretty close. But boom, there we go. We got some taunting going on. And the damage here is about to really make a difference. Okay. Watch out! Oh, Bastila! <laughs> Lights out. And that, believe it, it was, it was kind of happening worse with, uh, <laughs> with Sith Marauder in there because Sith Trooper, he kind of slows you down, but Sith Marauder, he was lighting fools up. And, and that was at Relic 7. The Sith Marauder he was going up against again, all of them were Relic 4. Let's try that again. That was actually one of the worst ones <laughs> that I had. I was able a couple times to actually get pretty close to win, but I did never muster a win. So let's try it again. So we hit this. Clear that taunt. Assist right there. Call the mass assist. All right. Another attack. Ooh, she's in the red. Can we get her out? Oh, take her out. Boom. Okay, good RNG. So we got her out that time. Here comes the fear. Here comes a shock. 
We're not gonna have to worry about that shock this time, but boom! There we go. Okay, stay alive. Okay, we'll take advantage of this twice. We might be able to get it here this time. Shablam! Ooh, got it. Take him out. Yes! Give in to your hate. Oh, how did that not take crew out? That's amazing. Oh, he doesn't... Yeah, that's right. The drain doesn't affect him. All right, so we're gonna have to attack right there. There we go. Okay, here it comes. Ooh, we might get it this time. Oh, I wanted so much more. Okay, call, call it in. No, 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 don't kill him. Don't kill him. Okay, okay. No! I'm supposed to get a turn. Okay, kill everybody. No! Oh! oh no. <laughs> so close. So close, but yet so far. So anyway, ladies and gentlemen, um, I think this is notable right now. It's not something I'm going to give my endorsement for to go after, but I think it is amazing that Dark Omega got this to work. I uh, got this to work. Amazing enough that I'm showing you the footage. Go over there, give him some... He's got some other theory crafts that he's made that have made their rounds, and so I think it's valuable uh, to stay on top of stuff like that. Uh, he's a theory crafter, man. Like, this guy knows his stuff, so go check him out. Um, and uh, anyway, th I'm hoping that we have a first order meta inbound. I think that'd be really cool, uh, by the way. I am really anxious to see what the new Kylo is going to do, and I think this is kind of... It's really like a, just an appetite wetter. For what first order's potential can be and so really exciting stuff so ladies and gentlemen let me know what you guys think down in the comments below are you digging the team are you gonna be using it right now are you gonna find ways i mean i think if you do have a first order team maybe with you know this flushed out like this maybe worth testing out against maybe the less equipped uh you know less god tier darth revan teams uh he was able to get it to work against the relic four pretty solid mods so Anyway, thanks again for joining me for the video, my friends. If you enjoyed it, leave a like. I would very much appreciate it. And as always, my brothers, don't forget. Sorry about the mess.